Welcome to 10 Minutes with Anthony. My name is Jen Cherney, and this is our host, Anthony Iliopoulos. <laughs> uh, he got, he uh, injured his uh, back, so he's going to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, giving advice about what to do when that happens. Yeah, I, I'm glad I, I got promoted to host now. Last week I was a, a guest, and I got promoted from guest to host, but... Uh, Chamber of Commerce like day here in Key West where salute day on the beach uh, guys playing volleyball you can't see them they're at a camera range but uh, nice day on the beach a lot of people here on the beach this isn't the normal beach I come to this is kind of your hangout you come come here with your with your guys and play a little bit of that uh, reminds me of Top Gun you and your guys playing volleyball yeah yeah it's great it's uh, beach volleyball every day so uh, anybody can come and uh, play if uh, you know if you're good enough one of the many reasons we live down here is you can stay active I mean I'm sure there's people up north that are would only dream of playing j volleyball on the beach right now but you know it happens but yeah it's I, I'm I've been it's been a rough week for me um, I've injured my back a little bit and I haven't been able to train like I really want to need to train to be competitive this upcoming season. And I find like I feel like I'm behind um, where I should be at this point because I can't train. And it's not only not, you know, you would think when you're back, it affects training legs like squats and things like that. Um, and yes, it does. And, you know, I can't train my legs the way a man should train his legs much less the guy who's competing but it also affects me even when i train chest if i'm doing like dumbbell um, um flies or something like that just cut getting in and off the bench it's i mean really a sciatic problem really affecting my going down my left leg and um you know i, I was hoping it would get better and it's only getting worse it's pretty bad today actually i don't really feel that that great today. i almost called in sick on you i almost wanted to just lay it home but has that happened before too um you know i've had my share of major injuries um my my back has gets would get injured here and there and then i would able would be able to kind of rub it out stretch it out um apply some heat and ice and it would it would get better um this it's nothing all my methods aren't aren't working on this one i'm thinking about possibly seeing maybe a chiropractor or get some you know maybe get it adjusted i i i'm i do I do believe in chiropractic care uh, i haven't seen one in a while deep tissue massage definitely would help i mean i can reach back and feel like the knots that are in my back and in some of my upper glute which is affecting, you know, it's it's a byproduct of that, I think, that compression of the sciatic nerve. So, uh, What is the difference between the way you trained when you were in your 20s and 30s versus now after you've been through, uh, you know, pack and, and the biceps injuries? Now I'm, I'm old as well. <laughs> I think what happens in, is when you, earlier when you train, you, um, you, you kind of... Uh, you feel almost immortal, and and you never really think about an injury. I, I know this is in my case. I never really thought about injuries until they started happening, and then they kind of it kind of affects you, your confidence, and, and this and that. The problem with lifting the way a competitive bodybuilder does or a power lifter, your muscles will grow, they'll get bigger, but your tendons and joints and stuff they stay the same, and it puts an incredible amount of wear and tear and fraying. And, you know, ultimately, unless you're super careful, they're going to bust. And, and um, you know, as far as for, for me, the, the, I, I've torn my left bicep. I ruptured my left, one of, the, one of the triceps, the inner one. And, you know, of course, the big pec injury that you can see now when, you know, you see the hole in my, in my, my chest. And, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's unfortunate and um you know the way you have you know you have you, you know when i earlier when i trained it was big heavy compound movements and i can't you know i can't really bench press or 
and decline press. That's what I got injured on was the decline press. So I do a lot of dumbbell stuff and, and, you know, I even have to vary, you know, put more weight on the left side than the right side and, you know, just kind of train around things like that. So you're saying it's not necessary, necessarily necessary to lift uh, big weights to stay in uh, shape? Well, this is the way I see it, okay? If you started lifting in your 20s or your teens, like I did in my teens, you have a lot of years to lift big heavy weights, okay? And by that time, you've developed enough muscle where you don't have to train with the same heavy compound movements. I mean, after a certain time, you don't have to bench press anymore. I, I stopped bench pressing probably when, you know, maybe in my early 40s, late 30s, you know, and it didn't really matter. It didn't, you know, because I've already built, I've already paid the dues and built the muscle. Now, if you were a guy who never lifted all during that time and started lifting in the, in the, in your 40s or even your 50s or 60s, well, you are older, but you don't have all that wear and tear on those tendons. So you could, you know, you could train a little bit more like you could have in your 20s. You don't have that wear and tear on, on the body. But the I idea is through the years, hopefully you've built that foundation um, where you can train around the frayed tendons and the sore joints and stuff and you can stay away from you know like a like a a, a military press type or overhead press is a great exercise for the shoulders but once you get a certain age you probably should never put your hands over your head anymore because that you know wears out your shoulders and everything but hopefully by the time you got that age you've already built the shoulders and you can do whatever with with lateral raises or front raises is all you have to do. Yeah, I can second that. If you're stuck uh, on certain plateau, you do not have to increase the weight in order to get bigger. No, I mean, you know, I, I, I know a guy, a guy once asked me, he was really bent on getting stronger with a bench press. He couldn't do whatever, 225 or... So I said, look, just get your... Just put the where you should be you know something if you if you can do 200 pounds put 225 on there have somebody help you take it off and you lower it yourself so you have the feel of it when you go to push have him help you with the wrap up and he lets go you let it down within a few weeks you'll bench whatever that weight was that's the best way to get stronger can you get stronger without increasing your body weight and body size? Oh, uh, for sure. Stretching, very important. You know, you should. there's a whole group of stretches that I do for each muscle part, you know, especially after you're done doing the lift where your muscles have expanded some, the pump, as they call it, and you stretch that out. And I, I, I don't think, I think you do that enough times, it, keep, it keeps, it'll, it won't come back to where, it originally was hence it makes it look bigger and, and stronger but yeah i mean you you the leaner you the, it's it's easier to get stronger when you're getting fatter because that's the extra water and stuff that's supporting the the joints but you certainly can you know get stronger keep the same weight even reduce the weight okay um do you have any other thoughts on uh, injury reduction? Yeah, you just have to, you know, be careful in the gym. You know, stay away from these herky-jerky movements. Um, make sure you, you stretch and you incorporate some other things outside of the gym. Uh, you know, I would highly recommend, you know, some type of sports chiropractor. You know, a guy who's, who's you know, familiar with... Uh, muscles and sports and stuff like that a lot of times some of these general physicians you know will you know you say hey my shoulder's sore from lifting heavy weights and the guy's going to say well why are you lifting heavy weights stop lifting heavy weights you're going to lift the heavy weights so you need somebody that kind of understands that i think deep tissue massage is important and i think yoga is very important and i don't mean all the hot yoga where they sweat and they do push-ups and stuff that's not I don't want to do yoga to do that. I do that stuff in the gym. I want yoga that relaxes me, stretches me, kind of gets you in, 
especially you get you in control with your breathing, especially if you're going to compete and you're going to go on stage and you want to present, be able to present your body. Um, and you know, you can see your abs and you don't want your abs like, you know, you'd be able to control that. Yoga is very good. Yoga is very relaxing. Keep those muscles stretched. And, you know, you don't want to get all building that muscle. You don't want to get all tight. You want to stay loose and be able to play volleyball and swim in the ocean and stuff like that and have big muscles. So, and that keeps them from being too tight and something ripping or tearing. Okay. That's all the time we have. Uh, this was Jen Cherney and Anthony Eliopoulos, until next time, you know, send me your questions. Facebook me. Uh, I, I, the website, I think, is having some problems because somebody actually told me they tried to send me a question through the website. I'll get with the good folks over at Team for Fit and, uh, and see if we can straighten that out. But Facebook me. See me on the street if you got a question, whatever, in the gym. You know, and I'll do my best to answer it for you.